Hey guys, welcome to part three of the video series on my 3M traffic light project. In this video, I'm gonna talk about the sequencer that I just installed, and I'll also go over how I wired everything up. And then after that, we'll turn on the traffic light and see how it works. If you haven't seen part one and two, I'll go ahead and throw those links up on the screen so you can go ahead and start from the beginning. All right, so as far as wiring, we'll start off where we come into the light. Um, I just went and got a uh, power cord from a local hardware store. I uh, just made sure it was a uh, big enough gauge wire to support uh, the amount of power the traffic light's gonna use. Even with all 350 watt bulbs on at the same time, this traffic light still uses a little bit under four amps. So uh, most cords that you find are gonna be just fine. What I ended up going with was a 16 gauge cord. So similar to the original test wiring that I had, uh, that wiring comes in through the bottom tray and then up into the bottom housing. Right now I have the cover on so you can't see any of the wiring, but I'll go ahead and throw a picture up on the screen so you can see how the wiring comes in. Um, so what I decided to do, uh, you can see the sequencer up here on the left hand side. I decided to mount it in there on the bottom housing, not only because it was uh, just a convenient place to put it in the bottom housing where the wiring comes in, but then it was also close to the, uh, the main wiring uh, terminal strip that's in the bottom of the light. Normally this cover here is completely solid all the way across, but I decided to go ahead and, and modify it so I had access to the uh, sequencer once everything was installed. This particular sequencer that I use has a um, couple different modes. It actually has 30 different traffic light sequences that you can choose from, as well as different ways to adjust the timing of the light, including the yellow light delay and then the overall length of the sequence. So I just wanted to make sure that that was easily accessible so anytime I wanted to adjust something, I could just open the bottom door here and do it. Uh, wiring it up was pretty easy. It just has a uh, main feed that comes in. I'm using 120 volts and it has three different uh, outputs, one for each light. So I just ended up wiring each one of those outputs to the main terminal strip where the other wiring was before. Okay, so let's go ahead and close it back up and we'll uh, plug it in, turn it on, and we'll just play around with some of the different modes. Okay, so this first sequence is just your standard traffic light sequence where it just goes green, yellow, red. The whole sequence takes about a minute the way I have it set it up right now. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so that was the first sequence. Um, like I said, there's 30 different sequences on this sequencer that we can uh, do. Um, I, I really don't have a need for that many, but we'll just go ahead and play with a couple other ones to see what we got. All right, so the next one we're gonna try is just a red, yellow, green, all flash sequence is what it's called. This is mode number three. see it's already doing that but we'll step back so we can see it yeah so that one's kind of interesting so let's just try another one here um, the next one we'll try is this called an old US traffic light sequence that one is.
So this one's supposed to go red to yellow to green, back to yellow, back to red. All right, let's just try a couple more. Our next one is just a flashing red. I'm sure we've all seen that one before. Here's just a flashing yellow. All right, let's just try one more. This is called a green, yellow, red sweep back and forth. Okay, so like I said, there's a lot of different modes on this particular sequencer. Um, I think I'll probably just stick with the standard uh, US traffic light sequence like we're all used to. Okay guys, that's about it for this video. Um, it's all wired up and ready to go. Anything I really have left to do is figure out how I'm going to mount this, if I'm going to put it on some sort of a stand or, or if I'm just going to hang it. I'm definitely open to suggestions, so feel free to leave a comment. Alright, so as always, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for the next one. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.